we know that scientists have divided animals into two broad groups vertebrates and invertebrates here we will discuss invertebrate animals animals that don't have a backbone or spinal column are called invertebrates invertebrate animals either have a hard exterior shell covering or no hard covering or skeleton at all let's study invertebrates here invertebrates can be divided into six main classes they are arthropods worms mollusks sponges cnidarians and echinoderms the largest species of animals found on earth are arthropods arthropods are found everywhere on earth they live on land water trees and even underground arthropods are major source of food for birds and mammals and even some larger arthropods some carnivorous plants like pitcher plants also eat arthropods scientists have divided arthropods into five main groups insects arachnids crustaceans centipedes and millipedes to view examples of each beetles ants and grasshoppers spiders and scorpions crabs and lobsters earth centipede and stone centipede pill millipede and spotted millipede the most numerous among arthropods are insects insects are the most diversified group of animals in the world do you know that there are more species of insects than all the other land animals put together the body of all insects is divided into three parts head thorax and abdomen all insects have a pair of antennae all insects have three pair of legs on their thorax worms are elongated soft bodied invertebrates worms are classified into three groups segmented worms flat worms and round worms leeches and earthworms are examples of segmented worms tapeworm is an example of flat worm hookworm is an example of round worm mollusks are soft bodied invertebrates many mollusks have a shell to cover their bodies the major species of mollusks are water dwelling creatures however some are found on land too oysters snails octopuses and clams are examples of mollusks sponges are the simplest form of animals their bodies don't have a nervous system or muscles sponges can't move on their own as they don't have any limbs or muscles to move most species of sponges are found lying on the sea floor sponges have thousands of pores in their body which let water flow through them continuously sponges are filter feeders this means they survive by the oxygen and nourishment from the water flowing through their pores cnidarians are water dwelling invertebrates the bodies of cnidarians are shaped like a bag several tentacles emerge from their bodies cnidarians have stinging cells in the tips of their tentacles which help them to catch prey jellyfish sea anemones and corals are examples of cnidarians the box jellyfish is the most deadly jellyfish each of its tentacles have about half a million extremely poisonous stinging cells echinoderms are sea dwelling invertebrates they can be identified by the several arms radiating from a central body starfish sea urchin and sea cucumbers are examples of echinoderms